Hey, how would you like to know that your serve is actually getting bigger? Well, you're gonna love today's video because I have for you the Fence Crush Challenge. So a way you can know that your serve is getting be better, getting bigger, is if you can hit it in the box, it's actually hitting the fence. I find that most players under 4.0 level have a really tough time doing this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to give you some tips I see people doing wrong and give you the two ingredients that you need so you can start hitting this French Crusher Challenge. And if you can do so, put your video below in the comment section and I will send you my 3X Power Serve course for free, okay? You can also sign up for Serve Tip Week for free by going to crunchtimecoaching.com to where you, you get seven days of Serve Tips, plus I will be your personal coach and it's absolutely free. You only pay me, you only give me a tip if you think I deserve one. If you don't think I deserve a tip, then don't give me any money. All right, here we go. Okay guys, so what holds people back from being able to hit the fence on one bounce? It's two things that you need to really, really focus on. Number one is the leg drive. If you're not, if you don't get a good amount of legs into your serve, you're just arming the serve, that's gonna take some pace off the ball. But what you absolutely need besides that is racket head speed. If you don't have racket head speed, then even if you got great leg drive, you're not gonna get the ball to the fence on one bounce. So you need those two ingredients. And so what I find people do, number one, is they just keep their legs pretty stiff. They don't really get in any kind of fluid motion as, as they're moving back, their legs don't really come back and start to drop and bend and then go up. So really focus on that. You can do a drill to where you actually come back here and just practice where as you're coming back to the fence, you load up on your hip, and as you're coming up the fence, this is when you're gonna bend your legs and get ready to go into the, get ready to drive up to the ball, okay? So that's one thing you wanna work on. The other thing is, people do not get themselves into something I call the secret power source, which I talk about in a lot of videos. They're, they come from here, and then right away their arm starts to straighten out, and they almost do a push or windmill effect. So that's another thing that's gonna have you pushing your serve. If you snap too late, you know, your serves are gonna go long, and if they actually go in the box, they're not gonna really get to the fence. I'll show you here from the back camera. Okay, so again, probably the biggest thing holding people back from getting to that fence is that they end up accelerating and pushing too much on their serve. So they put a lot of effort in, and then they just push the ball, and you can see that almost made it to the fence because I had good leg drive, but it bounced just before that. Again, pushing the serve, and it's bouncing just before that fence. And you know, it actually probably wouldn't go as far back to the fence if I did not use my legs. So let's, let's take the legs out of it and let's just do a push and let's see the difference, okay? Because I did talk about the importance of the legs. So now no leg drive and just push, okay? That's significantly weaker, okay? The, that one went out and still bounced. So you can already see how important the leg drive is. But now what we gotta do is we gotta get into the secret power source. That's where you get into a throwing position. You get here, you get ready to throw. And so watch how I get in the secret power source. And what I want you guys to do is just forget about your normal wind up. It's just start there and go up after the ball. And you can see right there, first try, we got that to defense. We'll, we'll change the camera to make sure that you guys can see that I wasn't cheating. So there we go guys, another fence crusher. So now it's your turn. I want you to go out to your courts, see if you can crush that fence on one bounce. If you can, send in your video, send in your link. Just make yourself a YouTube channel or a link and send me the link so I can see and I will send you the 3X Power Serve course, okay? Now, if you'd like some more power on your serve, if you'd like some more spin, if you'd like to get your toss under control, if you'd like a better rhythm, if you'd like to stop double faulting, then what I want you to do, it's absolutely free well, kind of absolutely free. You can go to crunchtimecoaching.com and you can sign up for Serve Tip Week. And what you do is you sign up for free and you will see a video from me and you're also going to see a message from me saying, hey, if you need some extra help, 
send in your video. So if you're seeing a particular topic, you're like, I really need help on that. You can run out to the court or even do it in your backyard or even in your, even in your basement, your kitchen, doesn't matter and show me your serve, send it in and I will critique your serve for free. So if, if you don't like the videos, it's 100% free. If you don't like my coaching, it's 100% free. But if I added value in the videos and helped you in some way, or you enjoyed my critique that I gave you, then I would ask that you give me a tip. Whatever you want. It could be a dollar, it could be five dollars. Heck, you could put me into retirement. I don't care, it's 100% up to you. And even if you don't give me a tip, there's no hard feelings. So give it a try. The reason I'm doing this is because I really, really love helping you guys. And, and uh, I love people to really experience the coaching I can give them so they can see the benefit, so that they can stay with me forever. So that's the whole goal of this. Sign up for Serve Tip Week. You're absolutely gonna love it. Go to crunchtimecoaching.com right now. Sign up, it's 100% free if I do a good job then I ask that maybe you give me a tip if you feel it in your heart if you don't want to no big deal we're still friends this is Pete from Crunch Time Coaching signing off